Hey guys, Professor Latimer here, the CC Mom Who Loves Science, and today I'm going to bring you Cycle 1, Weeks 21 and 22 Science Experiments, and these are for mineral identification. So you'll find um, that in our Foundations Guide on page 126. There's not a whole lot of information, um, but it says to get your mineral identification kit and kind of follow some instructions on there. So I'm going to give you some ideas just of what I'm thinking of doing for my class. Um, I have seven, eight-year-olds in my class. I have kind of some ideas of what we're going to be planning to do for weeks 21 and 22. So we have um, cornerstone uh, geology kits that our campus will be using. So there are um, a number of different minerals in our kit. And there's a lot. So we're just going to pick some of them to do. And we're going to pick some of the tests to do um, for those minerals. So my thoughts was I'm going to pick, I have eight students. So I'm going to pick four minerals to do for week 21. And we'll do the tests. And then we'll pick four other minerals to do the second week for week 22. So that's my thought of where we're going to go with that. So um, when you get started, you talk about, you know, we've talked some about minerals before and we've done a street test when we did the spoon, um, the test with the spoon um, on the tile to see what streak, color streak it left. So you can explain again the what, uh, what is a mineral. And so Nicole, Liam, I love her science PDFs on CC Connected. She has some really good questions and talking points. So um, chem uh, minerals are just chemicals from our earth and soil that join together to form a solid crystallized shape. So that's what a mineral is. And we use mineral, different minerals for all kinds of things. We have them in food, we use them for cosmetics, we use them for building materials, um, all kinds of things. So they're down in the earth and when a geologist or a gemologist or anyone finds a mineral, um, why is it important that we know how to identify what it is um, so we know how to use it? So there's different uses for different minerals. So if we can identify what that is, then we can put it to use. So, so what are some ways that geologists and gemologists can figure out what a mineral is? And there's all these different tests that we can do. And Nicole um, on her document, she has a good definition of the different types of tests, mineral identification tests that you could do. You can look at its color. Um, what color is it when you look at it? You can do the streak test. So you'll take a white uh, porcelain tile and you'll rub it against the tile and see what color streak it is. And sometimes that's different than the color that we see with our eyes. When we just look at the outside of the mineral, it may be one color, but when we do the streak test, we might see a different color. Um, transparency is something else you can look at is how does the light pass through um, the mineral or does it not pass through the mineral so op opaque means that no light can go through the mineral so like this mineral here um, no light can go through it a uh, translucent is some light passes through but you can't see through it clearly so this mineral here some light can pass through. It's not totally opaque, but you can't really see through it. And then tra um, transparent is you can see very clearly through it. So I would say that this quartz, you can see pretty clearly. It might be a little translucent. Um, luster is another test that you could do for your mineral. So how, that's how does your mineral reflect light? So is it glassy? Is it very shiny? Um, is it very mirrory like that? Is it metallic? Does it look like a metal when the light shines off of it like this pyrite? Or is it pretty dull? Like this would be pretty dull. Um, another uh, characteristic you could look at is shape, form, or habit. So how does it look when it's in its solid crystalline form? And that's when you look at, okay, is it granular? Can you see grains? 
is it massive? Does it look like one solid material? Um, does it look like a crystal? Is it crystalline? Um, is it a rosette like this mineral? It looks like a rosette, like a rose. Um, and there's bladed and tabular, and she has some definitions for those too. Another one we're going to do is hardness to see um, what, how hard a material is. So we have the Mohs um, range of hardness from 1 to 10. So 1 is the softest mineral and 10 is the hardest, and that would be like a diamond. And you have everywhere in between. So some of the tests that we're going to do, we're going to figure out how hard a mineral is. And breakage is another um, test that you can do. We're not really going to break our <clears throat> samples, but if you broke it, would it, um, we can characterize it as cleavage or fracture. So how does it break? And that is a characteristic of that mineral. So there's other things like reactions. Does it react when you put a drop of vinegar on it? Does it bubble? Um, does it have a smell? Does it an odor, magnetism, is it magnetic? And heat, does it react to heat? So you can choose from all those different types of tests and do those on some minerals that you take from your kit. So Nicole Liam has um, this blank sheet that you can use. Um, I looked around at different things on CC Connected and I found something I kind of liked, but I, I kind of changed it to fit the minerals that, that I wanted to use and I kind of made a, a test sheet. So I'll show those and I'll try to put links to those um, in the description of the video. So I picked eight minerals from our box and um, I chose to do the, we're going to do the hardness test, the streak test, the luster test, the transparency test, and we'll see if it's magnetic because that's an easy quick one and so that's what we're going to do so i chose quartz pyrite magnetite uh, selenite the gypsum rose calcite apatite fluorite and biotite mica so i just made a little spreadsheet this is kind of based off something i found but i i expanded it so um i did mineral numbers one through eight and then I listed out my minerals and then I have my tests. I have hardness, I have um, streak, luster, transparency, and magnetic. And I kind of just made myself a key. Um, I did all the tests on the minerals that I chose and I just put an X. Okay, is this, um, what color is the streak? And is it glassy, metallic, dull? Is it transparent? translucent or opaque? Is it magnetic? Yes or no. And then I, I um, also marked the hardness on it. And with our mineral kit, it came with a list of all the minerals and it listed the hardness. So I checked my results off of what this um, said and it matched. So um, I have confidence when we do it in class that it will be pretty accurate. So what we're going to do is I made these mineral identification sheets. So we're going to take four minerals the first week we do this. And I'm going to have my students in pairs so they can work together. So they, the, each pair will choose one of the four minerals for this week. And they will all number them. So they'll put the mineral number up at the top. And then I'll have stations. I will probably have four or five tables um, and I'll have, you know, the tools that they could do the hardness test and the streak test, the luster and transparency, and we'll see if it's magnetic. And they will, each pair will take their sample and they will do the different tests. And then at the end, we will see if we can figure out what it is. So we also have these from Cornerstone, these geology testing kits. And so those have a lot of what we'll use for our tests. It comes with a nail and a magnet. And this is a black tile, which we won't, I won't use for our experiments. It has a piece of glass and a white tile. So 
I'll just show an example. Um, I will use the the pyrite, so the the full scope. So the first test is the hardness test. So I have we can use our fingernail, and on my on my sheet, I have I was watching um, some videos on how to explain how to do the hardness. And so one ex explanation I really liked is okay, we're gonna see if our tool wins or our mineral wins. So if we can put a scratch on the mineral, then our tool wins. But if the mineral scratches our tool, then the mineral wins. So I have on my sheet, if the fingernail wins, if your fingernail can scratch the mineral, then your hardness is less than 2.5. If you use the nail, if the nail can scratch your mineral, then the nail wins and your hardness is less than 5.5. And if you, if, if the nail doesn't scratch it, you can take your mineral and try to scratch the glass. And if you can press hard enough and get the mineral to make a scratch on the glass, then that means that your mineral is harder than six because that's uh, what the most hardness of glass is. So we know if it can scratch a piece of glass, then it's harder than glass. So they're gonna try it. They're gonna try to see if they can make a scratch on it with their fingernail. And if not, they're always gonna start with their fingernail. And then if they can't scratch it with their fingernail, they'll take the nail and try to make a scratch on the pyrite. And then um, I couldn't quite see a scratch on the pyrite when I did the nail. So I did it on the glass and the pyrite can make a scratch on the glass. So that means that the pyrite is harder than the glass. So that's, I would put an X, um, that mineral beats glass. So then we'll take it over to the streak test station and we'll take our white tile and we will see what color streak and you can see that it made um, kind of a dark gray or black streak. So we will put an X by dark gray and black on our, on our sheet. Then we'll take a look at it. You can get a flashlight or have like a lamp nearby or something just to see what is the, the luster of it. Is it glassy? Is it metallic? Or is it dull? So this would have a metallic uh, luster to it. Then you're going to see, this might be helpful if you have like a small flashlight or like a pin light to see if you can shine a light through it. And we'll see how transparent this is. So if you took a flashlight and shone it through it, you would know that it is opaque and no light can, can go through this mineral. Um, but if we were testing quartz, then you would see that light can go through um, this mineral. And then, because um, I thought it's an easy last test, we'll take our magnet and see if it's magnetic and um, pyrite is not magnetic. So we would make note of that on our sheet. And then once the students have tested all four, each pair has tested um, their mineral, then we'll see what the results are and we'll check it off of here and we'll figure out which minerals we have. So um, I think this can be done uh, in 30 minutes. So they'll work in pairs and they'll just have one mineral each. And, you know, they can take some time at the beginning or the end to kind of take a look at all the minerals and kind of hold them and check them out. And then the next week, week 22, we'll go through um, some more of these minerals. So just to get an idea of what geologists do and how to identify um, what minerals are found in the earth. So it's a really good introduction. Um, there's some really cool minerals in here and so I think we're going to have a lot of fun um, discovering what they are. So I hope you guys have a great two weeks and I'll see you guys soon.